breaking news from CNN or Fox or whatever. Now to a new controversy from South Park, that long-running cartoon series on Comedy Central. The show's managed to offend just about every group you can think of with its sick jokes. Now it sparks something more serious. Central. The show's what? managed to offend just about every group you can think of with its sick jokes. Now it sparks what something more this? serious. South Park, a satirical adult cartoon show which, over the years, has been very forward with its social commentary with a very no-one-is-safe mentality. This has led to it being the talking point for many controversial topics ranging from light-hearted jabs and jokes to major real-world events. Some people believe South Park takes certain things a bit too far, and others that think it's just right. It's kind of like a messed up fever dream cartoon version of Goldilocks now I think about it. With a show that has such a no holds barred way of doing things, upsetting a few people was always going to happen. But does South Park take things too far, or does it provide a much needed, less filtered form of entertainment? Does knowing that no one is really safe bring a more honest and objective view on things? In this video I'm going to be talking about all of that, and trying to have just a little laugh along the way. I'll start this video off by saying I am admittedly a South Park fan, if you couldn't already tell from previous videos and comments I've made. You <laughs> I think their commentaries on emotion growing up and other prominent issues is really well done. For a show that has some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen, they cover serious problems shockingly well. The way they are expressed comes across as something the writers have experienced or have a good understanding of themselves and try to make light of it where they can. From Stan's stint with depression to the way they tackle growing up and life in general. They have a good split on how they approach every narrative due to the diverse set of main characters the show has. I know that a show which has things like this. Student athletes! Oh, that is brilliant, sir! Now, when we sell their likeness for video games, how do we get around paying for our slaves? Uh, student athletes then? doesn't make sense to have such a good balance, but a lot of the time it does. You have a character who is usually quite evil and is often the instigator for controversy or drama. Cartman usually offers shock value and comedy, which is a nice addition and often acts as a way to diffuse serious situations with just pure dumb comedy. You then also have the opposite to him, Kyle. He is the yin to Cartman's yang. They complement each other really well, with Kyle acting as the voice of reason and logic. This often creates a great dynamic within the show and allows for multiple views, which a lot of the time get quite extreme. You then have Stan and Kenny, one of whom is the normal character who has a lot of real situations to deal with and is, I think, supposed to be the show's somewhat equilibrium. The character that represents the audience best, in cases. He kind of just watches things unfold. Lastly, there's Kenny, who is pretty much just vibing all the time, and if he didn't die a lot, he'd be my spirit animal of sort. Kenny, will you tell Cartman to shut up? Shut the fuck up, dude. You're a fucking asshole. These characters are great and offer such a good dynamic and foundation that allows for very funny viewing. Factor in the many great side characters the show has and it allows for a really fun watch. Yeah, that's the life. Lightning! Hey, I was watching that! I just want everything to go back to the way it was. Okay, well that's not gonna happen, Debbie. Okay, you know, life, life has to change, okay? How? when all the things that made you laugh just make you sick. I'm going to cover this first and as briefly as possible as I've already done a segment on this in my Andrew Tate video. I personally think the representation of depression and emotion is so well done by South Park to a point where I genuinely feel they cover a nearly impossible topic pretty much spot on. They encapsulate the variety of feelings so well. They make it relatable enough while also putting their own style on things. They're able to resonate with the core idea whilst also expanding on how it can actually feel and affect real people and not just necessarily a fictional young kid. While acknowledging the topic so well, they are also able to show that anything bad is only temporary and that you can eventually move past any obstacle you face. There's hope for anyone who may be struggling. I also think the value of South Park just simply acknowledging the fact is enough. If a program that is so brutal and ruthless shows it's okay to feel this way and that you're not alone in it, it can go a very long way in itself. South Park has had a range of controversy surrounding their content, many of time where they could be cancelled, but maybe none more so than a depiction of religion as a whole. From mocking the Mormons and roasting Scientology to enraging Islam with threats of violence aimed towards the show, leading to said episodes being pulled. They do mock religion a lot, and often do like to make fun of the absurdities and hypocrisies around it, but they do also show positives as well. They often like to play a lot of sides to a topic, and playing devil's advocate is a prominent feature on the show. They say religion is stupid, and that it's a mess, but they also say, so what? Even if that is true, it doesn't take away from the potentially positive message it can share. A great example of this is with the episode All About Mormons. The show dissects and makes fun of some questionable and more eccentric views around the religion and talks about just blindly believing in faith. Wait, 
Mormons actually know this story and they still believe Joseph Smith was a prophet? Well, sure. The story proves it, doesn't it? No, it proves he did make it all up. Are you blind? But they also display that whether you deem something stupid or not, someone who thinks differently than yourself does not instantly make them your enemy. Just like if someone agrees or disagrees with you on one thing does not mean that they will on everything. Maybe us Mormons do believe in crazy stories that make absolutely no sense. And maybe Joseph Smith did make it all up. But I have a great life and a great family. And I have the Book of Mormon to thank for that. The truth is, I don't care if Joseph Smith made it all up. Because what the church teaches now is loving your family, being nice and helping people. Like I thought my seemingly intelligent friend would agree with me that NFTs were really stupid. Safe to say he's not only emotionally dead to me now, but he now owns an MS Paint picture of a monkey that's worth five shillings as well. You all push me to this! What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm going to the potty. This is the girls' bathroom! All right, I need to tell you something, Wendy. I'm transgender. Again, this is quite similar to a recent talking point of one of my previous videos. I think I might just be in a South Park episode at this point, Jesus. South Park often enjoys asking the tough questions around controversial topics while covering their bases at the same time. They make fun and question the fairness of transgender athletes competing with the opposite sex, but they depict this by having an over-the-top Randy Savage, now identifying as a female, win every athletic competition available. They're posing the question, is this fair, as it doesn't seem it and could potentially be dangerous. They do this though with a hyper crazy portrayal of a character or situation, which isn't as relatable in the real world, but it poses the question at hand. Just like their portrayal of political incorrectness, new age confusion and a potentially forced way of thinking, this being shown by the episode around PC Principal and Caitlyn Jenner. Kyle doesn't believe that Caitlyn Jenner is a hero for coming out as trans and this causes some issues with PC Principal, who is preaching political correctness. What what did he say? You'll have to excuse my language. <clears throat> I don't think Caitlyn Jenner is a hero. This kind of transphobic and bigoted hate speech isn't gonna fly here, bro! Besides the fact that PC is shown to be a bunch of douchey white frat guys, the overall statement they're making is, I think, about extremism and generalization and the dangers it can pose. On one hand, pushing a way of thinking, in this case, to the extent of beating up a literal child if they disagree is stupid and dangerous, but also not everyone who wants to use or practice proper pronoun usage is a douchey stereotypical frat bro who wants to brainwash everyone. Their use of political incorrectness and heavy controversy allows South Park to address important issues that might go unnoticed in a very comedic and unfiltered way. This helps get the point across while not being too serious and keeping their satirical no one is safe nature. So, overall, South Park has been able to tackle important social issues, provide a platform for marginalised communities, and offer a unique perspective on current events, all while simultaneously providing a laugh and making fun of some very serious topics along the way. The show may be controversial and politically incorrect at times, even maybe going a little too far occasionally, but the show is a big reminder of the importance of freedom of speech and the need to challenge the status quo, whilst at the same time being a rational, functioning human being who knows when to just, well, shut up. They've avoided cancellation so far due to their nuanced approach, even-handed satirical nature and their ability to, most of the time, understand just where the line is. As I've said before, I think South Park is a necessary show to have. It asks where the boundary is on what's acceptable and tries to make fun of even the most serious of topics. They ask the question, if something can't be ridiculed, can anything really? And while that question definitely has its limits, I think that idea is important. The last thing anyone wants is in the future someone getting court martialed for saying that yellow is an ugly colour. All in all, you kind of have to go into South Park expecting to be roasted out of nowhere really. That's just how it is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great week and remember, if you're going through some shit, nothing bad lasts forever. Nothing really matters, so just be happy. Well, in a bit. I'm transgender.